talk to yourself. Okay, let me reintroduce myself again. So my name is Simon. I'm actually from uh, BMY Singapore. Uh, and of course, today, I uh, uh, hope everybody had your lunch and at least a, a mug of Milo on your hand for your uh, tea break and stuff like that while I go through some of this uh, uh, technology or some of this uh, conversation around right? uh, this uh, uh, Trace Together app as well as uh, this, uh, uh, some of the uh, things you need to do to enable yourself right? so that uh, at least at the end of the day, right, we, we, we keep ourselves safe uh, uh, throughout this period of uh, pandemic. Right? So I think uh, first of all, right, uh, we need to know right, uh, what is actually the Trace Together app and some of the mandatory right, uh, uh, in terms of right, uh, with the coming of the December. So going forward, right, uh, we will not be able to use a QR code scanner on our mobile phone to actually scan into the, any of the, this uh, uh, stay safe, uh, a safe entry environment. Now, so which also means that what you have left right, is actually the Trace Together app on your mobile phone all the uh, trace together token uh, that uh, we'll, we'll talk about later on as well. So going forward, this will be the only method right, for you to actually scan into a, any safe entry uh, environment. All right, so that's the, the first, first, uh, first of the list. And of course, uh, that's the reason why we're having this session today. All right, so what is actually this uh, trace together uh, uh, app or this trace together uh, um, this, uh, token as well as a safe entry requirement? So this is actually a, a set of uh, initiative right, by our uh, Singapore government to help us right, to ensure right, the citizens are safe right, when we uh, enter to a place or when we move around or commute around uh, our the environment. So this right, is right, uh, uh, entry right, will be enforced right, when everybody uh, has a chance right, to get a token or at least right, install the app right, on their smartphone itself. So for those uh, who wants a token, uh, like example, my mother who, who that doesn't really likes to ha uh, handle smartphone, right? Then uh, we will have to actually to, to actually uh, get the token, right? From some of the location, like the community center and stuff like that, which later on I will share the link uh, where is the nearest uh, location that you can actually get the token itself. All right, and of course, like, one of the things to, to take note, right? During this uh, period of time, right? Is, try not or actually please do not actually spread rumors around uh, uh, regards to COVID or any of the uh, safe entry and stuff. So always get your information from all the official channels uh, uh, which one of this is, is this platform itself. So uh, did please do your best uh, to ensure uh, each of us uh, get the right information. All right. So then the question is, uh, what is different between trace together and safe entry? Uh, basically, these are two different systems that work hand in hand. And when it comes to trace together, right, this is a tool that helps right, the Ministry of Health right, quickly identify those people who happens to be in close proximity right, to someone who had uh, tested positive for COVID-19. So this is a tool right, that actually allow us right, to know that when, when you walk in the street, when you uh, walk past someone and the person right, was actually uh, detected with uh, COVID-19 or tested positive for COVID-19, you will also get a notification and say, hey, you may want to take a, a call precaution uh, uh, of your recent contacts as well. Now, on the other hand, the safe entry uh, is to help right, uh, the Ministry of Health uh, to quickly identify places uh, where COVID-19 cases uh, actually uh, reside. So this is to, to, uh, for us to allow us to also uh, be able to identify where are the clusters where COVID-19 and to alert right, those people who had been to those places uh, to take note of their health and symptoms as, as well as get yourself uh, checked uh, just in case uh, you may be uh, in very close proximity uh, to uh, or may catch those virus uh, during those period of time. So these two different uh, uh, um, initiatives are, are very, very powerful initiatives that really help us to keep us safe. So uh, take note of the differences and then how you uh, individually can actually help to support uh, the, these initiatives. All right, so uh, first and foremost, I, I will uh, go through right, the Trace Together app and some of the technology that actually uh, enable this Trace Together. And I think one of the key Play your part in fighting COVID-19 with just two simple steps. One, download Trace Together and help those around you to set it up. Two, turn on your Bluetooth and it is as simple as that. Get peace of mind for you and your family through community-driven contact tracing. Trace Together helps contact tracers notify you more quickly if you're in close contact with a COVID-19 case, whether or not you know the person but how does it work 
trace together users' Bluetooth signals to determine when your phone is near another phone that also has the app installed. Both phones exchange anonymized IDs, which are then stored in encrypted form only on your phone. If a user gets infected with COVID-19, he or she will be asked to give contact tracers access to the Trace Together data, a list of anonymized IDs that your phone has been close to. And that's really it. No geolocation or other personal data is collected. The anonymized IDs will help contact tracers quickly identify and contact people at high risk of infection to provide care and prevent the spread of the disease. Take this time to 1. Download Trace Together and help those around you to set it up and 2. Turn on your Bluetooth. The more people on board Trace Together, the faster we can combat COVID-19. Trace Together, safer together. Alright, so that's actually a short video on, on like the Bluetooth and the, of course uh, the Trace Together app. And I see online there is actually a question right, that asks like, what's the pro and cons like, for the Trace Together token and as well as Trace Together app. So I think the, the, the pros like, for us like, who actually have a smartphone right, is like, not to carry additional devices and uh, it uh, gives us a lot of this uh, uh, convenience like, to just have one single uh, device on our uh, body uh, of course if you look at right uh, certain um, uh, family like my family like my mom who is uh, a little bit aged and she's not really uh, into the smartphone so then of course uh, having the trace weather token actually helps because again the trace weather token uh, does not need any uh, uh, network facility or cell services as well so it all depends whether do you own a smartphone if you do go with the trace weather app if you don't then uh, please do get the trace together token, right, which is the most convenient for you. So I hope that actually answer that uh, little question that is actually posed online. All right. So uh, uh, back to the the, the slide side, and I think one of the key things and uh, the benefit of really the, the Bluetooth technology is it does not use cell data. So even if you have uh, the either the token or the app, right, uh, by turning on the the trace together uh, uh, this uh, software or the application it does not consume your network. So I think this is one of the things that very, very big concern around, uh, uh, example, like my, my family who doesn't uh, have the so-called unlimited data or have very limited data. So one of the things is ask, hey, will it increase my phone bill? So the answer is no. The Trace Together app uses Bluetooth, which is actually technically free. So then, uh, of course, the Trace uh, the Bluetooth technology also uh, only transmit in a very short distance, usually within the last 10 meter, which again, right, also means that it actually helps to conserve energy on your phone. It doesn't drain your battery right, to a large extent as well. So again, to to the uh, to those cell phones right, that are uh, of the yesteryear or maybe a little bit older that uh, does not have this uh, low power Bluetooth, then my recommendation is I uh, go with the Trace Together token, which uh, again uh, will help you to conserve battery on your on your. Uh, older phone, but if you are using the modern phone, which you bought maybe in the last uh, two years, the new technology of Bluetooth is generally very, very uh, 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 low powered, and you can actually have uh, the uh, power, the phone right, runs like uh, continuous whole day. So like my mobile phone, which I got about two years ago, I have my Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turned on 24 hours, and generally the battery still lasts almost about 26 to 27 hours like, uh, throughout the day as well. So that actually helps uh, it, it, uh, itself. All right, so I saw there's an a, a online question that, that talks about, right, uh, most places still don't use tokens, so you are right. Uh, the, the new uh, places that do the, the scanning uh, for the safe entry, uh, they, well, we are still rolling out, right, the new scanner that allows the, the QR code to scan the token. So meanwhile, right, uh, please do have your IC or, or some form of uh, identification card with you. Uh, so for those places that doesn't allow you to scan the token directly, uh, you still may use your, your NRIC or your uh, uh, driving license or whichever that has your uh, ID to do the scanning as well. So this will give you that, that flexibility. Also. So again, uh, we still have some time to ensure the full rollout. So do give us some patience and uh, let's uh, you know, do this uh, in a, in a uh, uh, I would say, do this together. All right. So I hope that answers your question. All right. So uh, again, uh, uh, just to reiterate what I mentioned about Bluetooth, right? because Bluetooth today uh, is a very, very advanced technology and we use it for a lot of our uh, uh, 
uh, this day-to-day -day life, so our earpiece, our headset, even our smart watches that we do for our exercise and stuff. All these are Bluetooth technology. So if you are already using this technology, the Bluetooth right does not consume extra energy from this installation of this uh, trace together uh, 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 application itself. So that's the, the, the story about Bluetooth. All right, so next, uh, when we look at trace uh, to get uh, this contact tracing, uh, why is it important? Uh, it's because uh, by having uh, identified uh, the, the, the cluster of people who are in proximity of this uh, person who is tested positive, right? We can actually right, then uh, uh, get right, faster and better uh, this medical help right, to these people. So by having this uh, contact tracing, it helps us to reduce uh, the virus spread right, around our community and keep it, us everybody safe itself. So one of the things right, that right, uh, with contact tracing, uh, that is still, I mean, with the, the normal method, without this technology, uh, it, it is always very difficult for us to remember who you met this morning or when you go to market, right? You, you pass by 50 people, so you can't remember anybody, especially those uh, that are strangers as well. So with this contact tracing or trace, trace together uh, uh, app, right? It helps to make this job a lot easier and help us to keep our community safe, right? So this is just a, a, a reiterate of the messages. All right, so with the trace together today, right, we offer right both the mobile app and the token itself. And uh, with the, the app, right, it just goes to your the app store or play store right, to download and run it. And of course, it uses the, the smartphone Bluetooth right to do that uh, so-called proximity sensing. The similar technology is actually used for the token as well. Again, right, this token right, is built specially built for this, and it also uses Bluetooth right, as part of the proximity sensing itself. All right, so uh, with this, I, uh, I see a, there's a question uh, on the on, online and uh, with the Bluetooth on and why, why I often need to use my own data, then it works. Okay, I guess uh, for this uh, 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 question, uh, when you use uh, the uh, uh, Bluetooth, it's only used for the contact tracing. I believe when you mention about the data, right? I believe you are mentioning, uh, you are looking at right going to the safe entry and scanning uh, the safe entry uh, into the place where right the system needs to identify what's the QR code, which area you you are you are logging into, and then hence that uh, the data may be required. Now, if you have concern with your data, I will strongly recommend you to look at our this trace together token. Uh, which uh, uh, in a short while I will show you a little video of what the token is and how it's being, uh, how it functions. All right, just uh, hold on for for that video. Hello, I'm the new Trace Together token. We are here to enhance the contact tracing process. We remember the people you have been in close contact with so that help can reach you and your loved ones much faster if you have been in close contact with a COVID-19 case. We do this with Bluetooth signals. We exchange signals with other tokens and phones with the Trace Together app turned on. In this way, we keep a record of all your close contacts. There is no GPS and all the data stays on the token until a person is confirmed as a COVID-19 case. When that happens, the data we've collected on the token of the COVID-19 case will be used by authorized officers for contact tracing purposes. This helps the Ministry of Health reach you quickly if you have been in close contact with a COVID-19 case. You can then take the necessary actions to protect yourselves and your loved ones. If you see a flashing green light, your token is working. If there is no flashing green light, or you see a red light, please email us or contact our hotline at 6973-6511. Remember, always carry only the token registered to you. Don't take your household members' tokens by mistake. Let's trace together for a safer Singapore. All right, so that's the end of that short video. All right. Hello. All right, so uh, let's uh, talk a little bit about the Trace Together token. Uh, as you know, uh, the first batch of token uh, has been uh, distributed to help some of the seniors since uh, the uh, June timeframe. All right, 
Um, and of course, like, the trace together token is meant for those like, who does not own or prefer not to use a mobile phone right, for the trace together uh, apps itself. So, for like, example, like my, a case of my mom who does not like to use a mobile phone, then she is actually a, a right recipient right, for this trace together token itself. So each token uh, is personalized to yourself when you are being assigned a token. So try not to bring uh, the wrong token uh, uh, out right, as you as you as you uh, don't go out of your place. So make sure you identify the token right, with your name, so that at the end of the day when you leave your place, you know that that is your token and don't bring the wrong token out. All right. So that's very important. Now this token works exactly the same way as a mobile app, right? And it exchanges Bluetooth signal with other phones or. or Token. So both platforms have worked uh, uh, hand in hand as, uh, uh, in, the, in this uh, context itself. Now the data that uh, of the course uh, context that you have uh, uh, you know, come in contact with uh, only stores in the in the token or the app uh, for no more than twenty five days. So after the twenty five days, uh, the data is being purged from the system and will not reside in the memory. So I think this is one of the things that a lot of uh, uh, user ask uh, about information about those costs context and again like in the video right it only holds like the information of the close context bluetooth uh, uh this uh, id itself so there's no personal data right that is being captured or, or places that you went that's been captured by the token all right so the the token right or the user of token right, will only inform right moh right uh or share the data right, only when he or she right, is being uh so-called uh, detected as positive for the covid19 or when uh, he or she uh, is detected as a close contact uh, with a person that is being tested positive for COVID-19. Now, the token itself uh, actually runs on battery and the battery uh, lasts approximately six months. So the flashing green light is an indication that the, the, the system is still have battery and it still have power to run. When your token runs on red light or has a completely no flashing light, uh, this is a, a clear indication that the token is actually not uh, in operation or not operating in, 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 a, in a good state. So then this is where you contact or support to get uh, either a replacement for a token or to see whether is there anything that uh, the, the staff can actually help you uh, to re-enable the token itself, all right? Now, a last point to, 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 to put in is that the token do not have GPS and there is no location data that is being captured right, by the token itself. So, uh, again, the, uh, this is like one of the, the key uh, facts. And of course, last but not least, like the token does not have internet. Again, the data cannot be extracted uh, remotely. So these are also, again, to safeguard uh, your uh, uh, personal uh, uh, data as well as uh, some of the, uh, the personal information. So again, just to reiterate, there's no GPS, there's no internet capability from this uh, uh, trace together token itself. So uh, as we all know, right, the this uh the nationwide distribution of this token has kicked off uh, with our there's a uh, seniors getting uh the first uh, uh this uh, recipient for this token. For the rest of us, uh, this token right now is being distributed through our community center, and of course, I uh, to help uh, us to know where are the nearest place to go is this uh, website called the token dot go where dot gov dot sg. So when you go to this website, key in your postal code. And what the system will then do is then, right, uh, based on your postal code, identify where is the nearest collection point, and, and it will include right, the address, whether it is the stop uh, available in the location, the contact number for you to call and validate just in case if you want to make sure that the, there is availability, as well as uh, the operating time of those locations. Now, in order to uh, collect your token, you definitely need to bring your original, original ID with the barcode, which means that it's either your driving license or your NRIC for the collection. All right, if you collect on behalf of family, like example, I'm going to collect from my mom, I will need to bring along uh, her uh, NRIC along to do that collection itself. All right, so this is uh, the where you can collect and then uh, uh, where is the nearest place to, to go through, uh, go to collect the, the token. All right, so just to reiterate what the uh, earlier the video talks about, right, on, uh, on using uh, this trace together token. All right, so number one, right, always bring the token out with you when you go out. 
All right, and before you go out, uh, just make sure that uh, the token has a uh, green blinking light uh, to make sure it's on. Uh, if you find that there's no blinking light or the, the token is, uh, there's no LED light or flashing light, then please do email or call a hotline uh, to get it replaced uh, uh, itself, all right? Now, the other thing not to do with the token, uh, if you turn to the back, uh, there is actually a QR code. So uh, try not to have those uh, cute little stickers that they cover the QR code. Uh, and of course, I uh, do not drop or, or tamper with the, with the token itself. And then of course, I don't put the token uh, near heat source uh, or, or, or in, within the liquid uh, water itself. So again, these are a few things, uh, uh, six little small steps uh, for us to ensure that the token works properly for you and as well as uh, to keep us safe uh, in this uh, scenario. All right, so I think one of the things that we really want to, to strongly iterate uh, is that while we're developing this uh, token, right, uh, we have actually industry experts right, to help us to, to ensure that right, the token right, works the way we, we mentioned. So it, like example, they only have the Bluetooth uh, uh, this, uh, interface. It does not have the uh, ability to connect to internet. It does not have ability to uh, uh, collect a uh, GPS location itself. So all this have been validated by a lot of our this tech, uh, tech expert and our this, uh, industry uh, expert as well. So just to give you assurance that right, the token only works on Bluetooth and it only do a trace together uh, uh, beacon uh, uh, sharing. All right. So that is from the, from the, uh, the trace together token. Now for the trace together mobile app, right? Uh, so for those of us who use a, a iPhone, so you can actually scan right the Q, uh, the QR code on the uh, left hand side to get that uh, the app. Now for those who are using Android phones, right, then you you will scan the one on the right hand side the QR code to get to Play Store. And the latest version of the app is version two dot four dot two. And I believe right for us most of us right when we use this app right. Uh, make sure you get it updated because some of us may have up downloaded this app uh, previously and over time, right, the application get updated. So go to your Play Store or App Store and go to uh, your app uh, profile and then go click on update when you, every time you are at home or when you're at the Wi-Fi area. So this will ensure the app is at the latest version, right? So with this, uh, I will move on right, to the Trace Together mobile app and show you some of the steps uh, and some of the new features that I think is very, very helpful and very useful uh, uh, as we uh, uh, use this app. All right, so when you download the app, all right, you will get to this uh, page uh, where actually it goes uh, uh, to, to share with you uh, some of the uh, overview of why this app is being created and what is it used for. So uh, you'll go through uh, things like, uh, uh, like example, why we are going through, all right, uh, what, what are the apps is trying to do and what are the data is being used like, the, uh, when uh, someone you, uh, 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 you know, have cross uh, contact with that is tested positive for COVID-19 or you yourself actually have been tested uh, positive for COVID-19. So only then uh, will the data be able. So the, all these are being explained uh, on the screen and uh, once you you are you, you are comfortable and with the information, then you can press next side. Where right, you will key in some of the uh, 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 contact details uh, such as a mobile phone, and of course the system will actually then send you a, a OTP through your SMS right, to make sure that right you get the uh, you are actually keying the right uh, mobile phone itself. Then once you, you are in right, then that is where you actually put in your profile. So it could be your NIC, it could be your your foreign identification number or any form of uh, this, uh, um, uh, this uh, identification tool that you have. All right, then of course the last screen on the fourth screen and this is where you key your name, uh, your date of birth and NRIC, NRIC number and some of the NRIC issue number just to make sure that the information is validated uh, uh, to you. All right, the moment you, you key in all this information, the next thing is to enable the app and as well as enable the Bluetooth uh, functionality. So. Once you enable the Bluetooth functionality, the app will be now uh, uh, be working and then the app will work in the background itself. So the app will continue to run right uh, well, within app and you still can use your phone as per normal, all right? So this is a kind of a, a very easy way right, or four steps right, to get right to, the, uh, to enable the app on your mobile phone, all right? Once you have the app or if you today, you already have the app, just make sure again that uh, the app uh, is at the, uh, the version uh, of uh, 2.4.2 or later. 
All right. So what you do is when you launch your app, you click on the more on the extreme uh, bottom right, and you will see right the app version on the top. Now, if you have any version uh, that is uh, lower than 2.4.2, so I would recommend you to go to your uh, App Store or Play Store and then go to your app and then update your app right when you are in some uh, proximity of a uh, Wi-Fi at home or stuff like that. So this will make sure this will ensure that you get the latest version of the app and get all the latest feature uh, uh, that we will put into the app itself. All right. So when you launch an app, uh, I think one of the key thing is uh, uh, how do I then scan my QR code? So if you remember in the in the past uh, when you use uh, your this uh, camera app to do the QR code, you have to go and uh, turn on the camera app, click on the web page, key in all the information and stuff like that. Those are very very much. Uh, um, uh, inconvenience today. So with today with the scan QR code, at the moment you, you tap on the left hand side, the scan QR code, the camera will turn on at the moment the camera sees a safe entry a QR code, it will automatically register you, you do not need to click anything. So it's completely very, very convenient for a lot of us. So you don't have to line up on the on the long queue just to, to click all the button. No, you just have to scan one time, the system automatically gets you right to, to, the, to, the, to the page. So it is very, very fast. Now, I think one of the features as well is you also can then start to view your history of where you have checked in as well. So sometimes you, you ask, oh, when, where did I went on Wednesday? So you can actually went to look at history and you can actually see like, those locations that you have actually checked in as well. And now, of course, like, on the app, on the, on, the, on the top, it also shows you the number of exchange like, that you have uh, in close proximity with other trace together devices. So maybe a mo another mobile phone or the token itself. So all this uh, are shown on the first screen. Right. The other favorite uh, 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 feature that I like is this favorite feature. So these are some of the places right, that uh, you can actually save right, the, as a favorite location. So the moment you check in the system, you can go to favorite and then say, okay, I want to to favorite this thing. So this, for me, it would be like the more near my place, like example, uh, Westgate or Jam, all right, which I often go almost three times or four times a week, I actually favorite it. So when you have it on the favorite, you no longer need to scan the QR code. You can just go to the, the favorite. And then after that, all right, you just do check in right, to those locations. So again, you don't have to, to stand the queue. Uh, I try to scan, scan the, the, the QR code. So the favorite feature and the scan QR code has dramatically improved over the last a uh, few iterations to make it extremely convenient for us uh, to use this uh, uh, tool as well. The next new feature that I personally uh, like right, is uh, when we go out, we usually sometimes go out as a family for dinner and stuff like that. And now with the new version 2.4.2, uh, we introduced this new feature called the group check-in. So you can actually uh, enter right, the particulars of your family. So in this case, like, uh, like example for me, my wife and, and my mom, when we go out together, I will just do a select all plus myself and then do next and either I do a, a favorite or I do a QR code scanning, then we'll check in as a family. So when you check in as a family, you'll notice that the screen uh, will appear a small little number on top. Uh, just let the, the safe entry ambassador know that right, you are checking for family of three or family of two. Uh, as you as you check in as well. So this, this will allow the safe entry ambassador to know that you are checking in a group and you, you, you don't have to stop your family members uh, later on uh, to ask them to, to check in. So these are some of the things that uh, really, really helps uh, to make our check-in process uh, extremely, extremely convenient. All right. So that is for the check-in uh, feature. Now, when it comes to uh, a situation when uh, you have been, uh, example, being tested, right, uh, positive for COVID-19, right? Uh, the MOH officer would actually then ask like, for your uh, either your uh, Trace Together token or your Trace Together app, right? And then like, do a data upload, right? Uh, of right, uh, who has you have been uh, come close proximity in. So this information, right, will only uh, uh, be allowed, right, to be collected, right, by the authorized officer. So again, right, uh, you do not need to click upload, right, uh, if you are, you are not being uh, connect, uh, contacted, right, uh, by our this uh, officer itself. All right. So this is one way, right, to to ensure uh, your information is being kept secure. And any data that is like more than 25 days like, will be purged from the system. So any data you have right, is any people that you have been close with for that uh, for 25 days. All right. So I think that is uh, probably my last slide. And uh, with that, right, uh, we actually reached uh, uh, the Q&A session.
so it's fairly simple. So uh, again, just to reiterate, uh, if you have a smartphone, uh, you do not want to carry multiple devices and stuff like that to have some convenience. So I, I will recommend you to do the trace together application, download on your either iOS or your Android uh, devices. Now, if you uh, are someone who uh, does not have uh, this uh, uh, mobile phone or do not like to use a mobile phone because of maybe a, a, a situation where your Bluetooth consume more power than what your phone could last you a day, then uh, my recommendation is uh, please go and uh, redeem your uh, trace together token right from your nearest uh, community center or the nearest location that is distributing to uh, to your residents. All right, so this is one of the uh, things to uh, to take note of. All right. All right, so uh, I see there's a question online. All right, uh, is there a need to check out? Uh, of course, I think uh, it's good to, to do the, the checkout itself uh, because then, right, uh, if right, let someone uh, later on right, at other times went into the, uh, the safe location that is actually tested positive, at least you know that, right, you were at the, the time right, that they are not there and hence that uh, you may not be in close proximity. So it's always recommended uh, to actually check in and check out promptly uh, when you enter any safe, uh, uh, this entry location, right? So I hope that uh, answers uh, some of these uh, uh, questions. Okay, so as we are uh, taking questions right now, uh, so I want to also thank Simon for the very informative sharing. So like what we have shared earlier, if you have any questions, please feel free to type them in the Q&A chat box. Or if you want to ask them verbally, you can also use the raise hand button and we'll unmute you to ask your question. Uh, so separately, as you're looking through the questions, if you don't have any questions, right, uh, you can refer to uh, this QR code to give us your feedback. So you can take this time to also provide your feedback by scanning the QR code or go into this link and filling up the details on the slides uh, to give us our feedback while we answer the, some of the questions that you may have. So there's a, there's a question from Ting Chu. He, he or she was asking, uh, what's the, how do you do the check-in with the token? So how it works basically is that at the various places and or shopping malls, eventually the scanner will have the capability to scan a QR code also. So not just your NRIC, but also a QR code. So it's the same way as how you scan a NRIC right now. You just show the token to the queue where there's a, a scanner. Then you scan it and you can just enter the, the venue. Yeah. Uh, from Nicholas, by when must we update the version? Uh, I think as soon as possible would be good to enjoy the latest features on this token. Um, there's no specific like deadline or like, uh, but the ideal is to keep it updated as, as, as soon as possible uh, if, if uh, your phone allows it or you have space to have it in your phone. Yep. Uh, Joyce also, also asked, uh, show the QR code to download the Trace Together app. Yep. So maybe Simon, you can show us on your screen. Uh, give me a second, let sure. me put the screen back to the download. Uh, okay. uh, where is the QR code? All right. And also to go. Nicholas, the link to the video, uh, we will upload it on our YouTube channel. So we don't have the link right now, but uh, you can check back again probably over the weekend and you should be able to see the video on our YouTube channel. Yeah. Okay. So link to the Trace Together. I think Simon, you need to take over the share screen feature. Oh, uh, Currently it's still on my QR code. Oh, all right. <laughs> Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Go ahead, because I took over just now. Uh, Show the QR code. All right. <laughs> Okay, so I hope uh, you can see the QR code uh, and you can actually, uh, if you are using Apple device, please scan the QR code on the left. And if you are Android device, please do scan the QR code on the right hand side itself. Right, there's a question from uh, VW uh, on uh, when you use the token, right? Uh, how do they do the checkup or is there a need to do the checkup? Yeah, I believe at these venues, they will have the ability to check out as well. As it works the same way as currently with your NRIC. But let me check on that again. So, uh, yeah. All right, uh, Nicholas asked about the Q, uh, feedback QR code. So give me a minute. Uh, uh, let uh, Joycey uh, download the, the, the QR code for the app and uh, we'll change it to the feedback QR code in a, in a few seconds. 
So Joyce, I hope you are installing the, the Trace Together mobile app right now. Uh, I will now move, uh, change the slide back to the, uh, the feedback. All right, Nicholas, uh, uh, this is for you. So I hope uh, everybody has a good afternoon and uh, 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 is enjoying a tea break right now. <laughs> uh, and uh, of course, uh, at the end of the day, I think uh, the most important, I do keep safe and then uh, do uh, uh, stay healthy uh, uh, during this period. Ernest, you want me to move to the next screen for the upcoming uh, session? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Can All move right. to the next screen. All right. All right. Just a, a little bit of uh, for upcoming session for so for those of you who wants to learn a little bit on online shopping with a mobile phone, you know, do check out uh, our session right that's coming up on the second December uh, Thursday uh, uh, and uh, around three uh, three p.m. to four p.m. as well, same time. Yeah, I'll show you the updated poster with the QR code. Now. So if you want to uh, register directly for next week's session on online shopping, uh, you can scan this QR code to register for next week's session. So uh, next week is uh, Live Smart series, which is a different series for non-government apps. Now. So we had previous sessions like uh, for online st free streaming of music last time, and now we're talking about uh, online shopping with smartphone. So if you'd like to view previous episodes, you can also view them on our YouTube channel as well, in case you have missed them. Go back to the feedback form. All right, so we will stay online to, to answer any more questions that, 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 that you guys have. Uh, just feel free to, to type in the question. And uh, um, myself, Ernest, and the team uh, will help to address uh, as much question as you uh, as you may have. Yep, that's right. So this is actually uh, we've actually come to the end of the uh, session. So if any questions let us to address, we will still be around to uh, help you help address them. Yeah, if not, please remember to complete the feedback form before you leave. All right. Thank you so much for spending time with us this afternoon and hope you have uh, taken away something valuable. And also to one last point is that before you collect the token from your CC, please uh, check the portal to make sure that your CC is distributing the portal first, uh, distributing the token first before you, you go down yeah, to save you the, the trip.